Namaskar to all of you. Today I have received <clears throat> a message. She writes, Guruji, I am generally short-tempered, but trying to control Mudiyala. Nowadays I am getting more angry for genuine reasons only. When I get angry, I am trying to count 100 to 0. In the reverse order, but still not possible. <clears throat> After shouting at the person only, it goes. I tell myself that I should not react if something happens on the road to someone. Close my eyes and move on, but mudila. I am already ready to fight kind without thinking about the after effects. Really don't know what to do, Guruji. Please advise and guide me, Guruji. I need your blessings, grace and mercy to become a sober person. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a very big problem. It's not a normal problem. You have not come here to correct others. You have come here to correct yourself. So, you must be consciously aware at every point of time anything happening outside is going to teach you a lesson as to how to behave or how not to behave. Especially in public place, you go and shout at a person. It doesn't look nice. Whatever he might have committed, that's a different thing. And you have got no business, no right also legally to do such things. You do not have any rights to do such things. Absolutely. You don't have. In case you find something wrong, you can always call the police. Nowadays you have the patrol van roaming about <clears throat> in every area. They are keeping a watch on very every sector for antisocial elements which may create problems. So they are on the lookout. You can call them and say that something is going on here. Why not you go and take a look at it and Probably if that needs to be taken into consideration and if something has to be done, they do it. There is, there is a legal way to do it. They do it. You cannot take law into your hands and uh, you cannot become a Kangaru court. And you just deliver some justice. Our country is a democratic country. It's a free country. Here we value every person's freedom. At the same time, the freedom is coupled with responsibility. Freedom doesn't come with total irresponsibility. Freedom comes with some responsibility. There are rules, laws. Everyone is expected to follow that and when something is being violated, there is an agency for it. There are, there are courts, there are police people are there and they are there to do their job. You are not supposed to take law into your hands and do such things. It's not, it's not good. See, I will tell you something in this. The other person who is committing a mistake may not be having any guidance. He may be lacking some guidance. There is nobody to guide him properly. Otherwise, he may not be behaving like that. But you see, you have guidance. You have me. But when you have me, 
you get down from the car and you go and shout at him then in what way your behavior has brought in a change in you just because you have me in fact he is better he doesn't have anybody to guide probably in your case it is worst having a master and still behaving very cheaply in public your prestige or your position is not just that will be viewed people will th- think what sort of a girl this girl is she behaves like a hooligan oh of course the other person behaves but she looks like a civilized being but she is behaving otherwise and what sort of a master she has indirectly it reflects on me so whatever a disciple does it goes to the credit or debit of the master whether you like it or not though that may not be your intention i don't deny that but you are not aware or alert that anything you do your master is going to be blamed for that if you keep this very strongly in mind certainly you won't do it next time being short tempered being long tempered all these things these are all different you have anger and it needs to be managed and it looks like your anger is like that it is waiting for something to happen outside so that the anger can be exhibited now that's not correct that's not that's not right that's not fair that's not fair whatever you may belong to anything you may have a lot of knowledge about everything but the people they don't know civic sense sometimes there is nobody to teach them there is nobody to guide them that this is what is this so they may need some even people may be qualified also mere qualification is not going to bring any upliftment in their character qualification should be upgraded to education educational qualification they write what it means the qualification what you are going to achieve or what you have achieved already should have percolated deeply inside to make you more an educated personality and by being educated means you are going to be cultured you are going to be civilized and mere qualification is not going to make you educated also because go down see in the villages in all in rural india in a, wherever you go people may be illiterate they may not have much they may not have even formal minimal education but you know the way they behave will be very exemplary our bharat desh is so beautiful it has got rich cultural values and the civilization to which we as hindus belong is something very beautiful that way even the other communities taking the muslims or christians parsi sikhs jains buddhists our society has got all these people the way they behave is totally different they may not have any minimum qualification also but the way they behave will be very beautiful that is the bharatiya parampara you belong to such a wonderful nation and that should reflect in your action if that is not reflecting in your action you are bringing a bad name to the master 
to the master. You belong to your school. You belong to me. You are my subject. You are my disciple. <clears throat> A small nursery school. The teacher gave some jigsaw puzzles. It is the world map. The jigsaw puzzle, if different puzzles are properly arranged, then you can see the entire world, all the countries, continents, seas, everything will come. You can see everything. All the kids were struggling to put the jigsaw puzzle, then one kid alone came forward and said, uh, Teacher, I have completed it. What? Everybody is struggling? How? Let me see. You please show. When she saw, she saw the world map. She was stunned. When all the other kids are struggling, how you could make it? The kid beautifully replied, it said, it so happened I just flipped one of the puzzle to see what is there in the back. I saw an eye, a human eye. Then another one I flipped, I saw one more eye, then I flipped one more, I saw a nose. Then I flipped one more, then I saw the mouth. Then I knew very well, it's just a human being. So, I just assembled the pieces, because to assemble a human being is very easy. So I assembled those pieces and made the human perfect. And I just reversed the board. The map is there. If everyone assembles themselves, the world will be in order. The world looks imperfect because everyone is not able to assemble themselves. There will be no necessity of any controlling agencies or any supervising agencies. Nothing will be needed at all. The world will be picture perfect. Everyone has to assemble themselves. So you have to assemble yourself. You have a lot of experience. I know that in your life. You have seen the heights. You have seen the depths. You lived as a big executive in a bank. You lived with all pomp and splendor. You have a number of friends. You have a lot of relatives. You have many of us in the Gurukulam with you. You have been moving with all of us. This should have crystallized into a cultured behavior in you. Somewhere the awareness is absent. Somewhere there is a problem with your awareness. Somewhere you forget that your job is to upgrade yourself and your job is not to supervise others. You have to upgrade yourself. You must become more civilized. Furthermore, doing such things in the public may land you also in trouble. Suppose you go and shout at a rowdy cheater, he will definitely be behind you. At that time you can't keep running and you can't say the bhajan, my Guruji is there. You are expected to conduct yourself the way you have to conduct. Not simply doing anything and saying, my Guru is there, he will take care of me. That's not proper. That's improper. 
and no guru is going to take care of you under such circumstances. So you are expected to be a normal person, not an abnormal person. I am not asking you to be paranormal. Probably yes, that may take a, a lot of time. But you can be normal. There is no necessity to exhibit your abnormality. This abnormality will ruin you. Understand this. Okay, when you go, it's a chauffeur driven car, when you go, yes, you can always, you can keep reciting some mantra, some Vishnu Sagastranama, some Lalita Sagastranama, some Suktam, Sri Rudram, something, so many things are there. You can keep reciting and happily be with the memory of Lord. At least if you are a driver, you will be looking at the road. When you go in a taxi, you look something else. So probably, if you are a driver, you, your concentration cannot be on something else. It will be only on the road. But when we sit in the taxi or when we have a car driven by a chauffeur, a driver, then we keep peeping out of the window. We keep seeing what is going on. Of course, there is nothing wrong in seeing, because by seeing you can also get yourself educated. There are so many things. You may not be knowing also where a shop is or something. When I am driving the car myself in the driver's seat, I hardly get a chance to see what is there around, because I will see only the road. Only when I get an opportunity to sit in the back seat of the car, then I get an opportunity to see what is going on around. And I keep seeing everything so that I will get opportunity to upgrade myself to be a better citizen. Because certain things may be happening on the road, which may be an eye-opener. So I look for such opportunities so just I can upgrade myself. We have to upgrade ourselves at every stage in life. As you progress in life, you upgrade yourself. So things that are happening outside is not some show or exhibition. The Lord shows you certain things so that you can look at it, you can gather some information, you will know how to behave or how not to behave and you will know that, yeah, this is not the way, this is not the way I am supposed to behave. Not blaming the other person. Not blaming the other person. The other person is risking his life and behaving in a different way. He may be arrested for that behavior. He is risking his life and demonstrating how not to behave. And you are supposed to learn that. Sakshat Dakshanamurti himself probably has come into him. And he is now demonstrating how not to behave. How to behave to demonstrate is easy, but how not to behave or how not to be to demonstrate is very risky. He is risking his life. He is risking his life and demonstrating why the Lord wants you to learn how not to be. There are so many people, rowdy sheeters, robbers, there are so many people, but all of them are risking their lives and doing certain things to make you understand that you are not supposed to behave like that. You are not supposed to go there. There is an agency for it. You call them, you tell them such a thing is happening, which is not good. It's not a good civic sense. Something is going on on the road. Please, kindly, they will do the needful. There is a system for it. Necessary action will be taken. But 
because the problem here is the mind what you have is a probing mind it is just sitting and probing there is no necessity to probe probing is different pondering is different you have to ponder when you sit behind in the car and when you are looking out or sitting in the bus and when you are looking at something else you have to ponder not probe pondering gives you that thought what should be accepted what should not be accepted it makes you a better person as a person you are more sublime no more calm more timid you understand things you are in the middle you can see both sides and you will be a person sought after by anybody and everybody everybody would like to be have some association with you but you exhibit such a character we need not worry about reputation reputation will automatically come if character is there reputation follows you need not run after reputation the character itself will bring the reputation so keep these things in mind be balanced be calm be meditative if you cannot meditate recite some mantras let lord sudarshana give you that drishti that insight that's why he called sudarshana not just sight not darshan sudarshana sudarshana good insight the way you look at things you can learn many things you can upgrade yourself so pray to sudarshana he should give you automatically all your anger everything will go down there is nothing you don't need a anger management class you don't need to go and sit with a psychologist this is just enough if you dedicatedly do it in no time the anger will dissipate you will start learning you will start learning with every instance that happens around you or me there is always a message the nature conveys some message or other so god bless you all be happy See you some other time. Thank you.